There's good news for families and retail workers this Thanksgiving. You can finish your dinner in peace. A growing number of retailers and shopping malls are reversing course, saying they will close on Thanksgiving this year. Joining us now to discuss is WSJ reporter Suzanne Kapner. Suzanne, thanks so much for joining us. Thanks for having me. Initially, was all of this bleeding of retail hours into the holiday season a reaction to the shoppers who were moving online? Absolutely. As retailers noticed people would be home on Thursday, they'd be shopping online at all different hours from the comfort of their home. They felt like they had to have a piece of that pie. Right. So um, you started to see the creep in around 2009. You know, first they'd open at midnight on Thursday, then it was maybe 8 p.m., then 6 p.m. The hours have gotten pushed back and pushed back till finally we have something of a backlash. And so what did they find though? Did they find from a retail perspective it wasn't working or was it more that employees were complaining or a combination of I think it was a combination. It certainly depressed employee morale. Mm -hmm. I mean these these people sort of they work very hard especially during the holidays long hours and this is kind of the one day everybody really wants to spend with their family. But also from a business perspective they realized it wasn't you know that incremental. You know they weren't growing the overall pie enough to really justify it. Right. So, and, and instead of really, you know, adding sales, they were just shifting them away from Black Friday, which had traditionally been the biggest shopping day of the right. year. Right. We were definitely looking at the screen there. The numbers tell the story. You've got, you know, many, many more sales on Black Friday, certainly than on Thanksgiving Day. So now, who are the big retailers that you spoke with who've said, you know what, this year we're closing? Thanksgiving. H.H. Gregg is one electronics retailer, Office Depot, uh, CBL, which ha they're closing about 72 of their regional shopping malls, Mall of America, the biggest shopping mall in the country. So, um, you know, they all sort of found that it just didn't really work for them, and they're hoping by closing on Thursday that will just make their Friday even better. Right. So, so the 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 tactic now or the strategy now is to focus again on Black Friday. Is that's that right? right? That's right. So that's going to be the big focus of the weekend. I wonder, though, if they still are in danger of losing out of those people at home on Thursday on their laptops going to Amazon. Well, it is a big risk, and that's why you see a lot of the big, big chain retailers, Macy's, Walmart, Target, they're all going to be open. They just can't afford, right. you know, it, they can't afford to lose business that day. And the, the other problem is, you know, Black Friday is just becoming less and less important because holiday shopping is now stretching, never mind the whole weekend of Thanksgiving, the whole month of November, even into October. You know, it's just less concentrated than it had been in Absolutely. the past. Absolutely. Well, I'm certain that these employees will be happy to hear that they can stay home, although there will be some there will be some people working. That's right. You know, you have people in the distribution centers, the call centers, they will be fulfilling those online orders. Right. Well, as a journalist, I've worked many Thanksgivings in the past, so we know there's always got to be someone working sometimes. Thank you so much, Suzanne, for that.